Hey everyone, it's Paulina. I think now is a good time to finally go through my everyday makeup routine. All the things that I'm gonna be using are affordable makeup products. Just wanted to let you know. And for my makeup routine, I try to achieve like that natural look. I already prepped my skin, so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, I like to start off with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It looks like this. I don't know, I really like it. Some people don't like primer. I don't think it's necessary, but it's just something that I stuck by. I just rub that in with my fingers. Also, the sun is out, and so my freckles are... I don't know if you can tell, but they're a little bit more showy today. <laughs> and so I just put that all over. Next, I have been loving this e.l.f. foundation. It's the Flawless Satin Foundation in the shade Beige. And it's one of the best things. My sister showed me this one and I've been using it ever since. I usually use BB cream for everyday wear, but recently I've changed it to this foundation because it just feels very much light and not too heavy. And it gives me a good amount of coverage, which I like because I don't really like that cakey type of look. <laughs> I look a little bit crazy. Let me blend that out. And I just get my sponge and start blending it out. I usually like starting at the middle and going upwards. I don't know if there's a difference, but I like it. So you just do that all over until it's blended. Blending is your best friend when it comes to a natural makeup look. I mean, I feel like it is for any sort of makeup look, but for this, you really wanna make it look like it's part of your skin. Okay, I just put that all over my face and it's done. This has more like a medium coverage, so if you like more of a heavy coverage, I think it's buildable. I haven't really tried, but since we're doing more of a natural makeup look, I suggest just doing one layer or two at most and you'll be good. Next, I go in with these two concealers. I got two different colors because originally this one was sold out and I got like the second best color. This one was a little bit too dark, but I still like to use it and blend it with this one. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. This this one is in a medium peach. You're gonna see how it just looks more yellowy, but I like to use that one first, like very little amount. And I let this sit for a bit and while I'm waiting, I just go in with this e.l.f. mini brow palette. I like to mix this with this one. I like to brush it out first and then just follow my eyebrow line. I don't like to overdo it because as you can tell, very much already filled, but there's still some places I feel like that need it. So I just go ahead and do this all over my brow so it's not uneven. Then I do the same for the other brow and go in from the bottom, spread it out. And I kind of like to elongate a little bit. So I drag it out just a tiny, tiny bit. Just do that. And then I just brush it out again. You can use any spoolie. I like this one. This one's my best friend. Okay, as I'm done with that, I just like to blend blend the under eye and eyelid. It's a little bit yellow, but I just like to add that first so it has more like a heavy coverage under my eyes because it'd be having some dark circles. And so then I go in with the same concealer, but this one is in Fair Beige. I use this one in a lot more places, so I just put it in where I originally put it in. Forgot to blend this out. <laughs> my chin, a little bit on my eyebrows, eyelid. That's good for now, and I let that sit. The reason I let it sit for a bit is because like once it starts like kind of drying, not completely, as it's drying, when I blend it out, I feel like it gives more of coverage. That's probably just me, but I just leave that on for a couple minutes. And as I'm waiting, I go in with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. Looks like this. I just go in with the big brush, tap, tap, tap. And I like to follow my cheekbone. And then up to the side of my face and just blend that up. And then same to the other side follow cheekbone and blend up. Sometimes I put too much, but as I continue doing my makeup, I like start blending out everything and it's not as harsh. I also like to add a little bit on my forehead, kind of do like small circles in an upwards motion. And then I also like to put a little bit on my jawline, just a little bit. And also just on my nose, like all over. I don't know why I started doing this, but I don't hate it. So this is what I do now. Just all over, under, side. Okay, then I start blending. I go like this and then upwards. I don't really do much to my eyebrows, but I try to at least give it some shape. That just blend, blend, blend. See how that looks better? There it is. Before I move on to anything else, I like to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. It just looks like this. No way this just happened. 
Oh my goodness, what a waste. <laughs> Moving on, let me clean this up real quick. That just slipped out of my hands. I don't know how that happened. You just like getting it from here because it's already too much. But the only areas that I put it in, I just like to go under the eye just so I don't crease too much. And my smile line. Because those are the two places that crease the most and I don't want that to happen. I mean, it still creases, but not as bad. And then going back to the lighter concealer, put some on the tip of my nose, sides, and middle right here. And then this one, I don't really wait since it's like just a tiny, tiny bit. And I just start blending it out. And after that, you can either use an eyeshadow or a bronzer for this. I usually like using my bronzer just because it's more of like a putty than a powder. I just get a small brush and tap it and start like outlining my crease and going upwards on your crease and then go out a little bit i usually like putting some under my eye i always forget to get close to the camera when i'm doing makeup tutorials okay just like that then i go in with the elf bite size eyeshadow cream and sugar as you can tell i'm a little bit obsessed with elf products but i like to blend the dark one and the light one just so it's not overwhelming and just to set the bronzer i already have on i'm just gonna tap it a little bit I like to set it with powder and when I realize it's too much, I literally just tap it away like that. It looks cute. And then after that, I like to go in with the Rare Beauty Illuminating Highlighter. Look how it looks. It's so cute. You do not need much of it. Um, this is as much as I use and even using less is enough. And I just blend that out with a flat brush or any brush that you use. Look at that. And I might have used a little bit too much this time, but you get it. Just blend that out, the nose, blend, blend, blend. And now moving on to my favorite part is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Not primer, blush. This one is Turks and Caicos. Obviously just dab, dab, dab. But I usually like putting it on my cheeks, so I just smile and then go up. More focus on the cheeks, but I go up. Kind of like following the highlight like this. And up. I also like going for the nose, so I just put that a little bit and a little bit on my eyelid. I don't know why, it just became a habit. Okay, it's a couple hours later and I realized I skipped two tiny little steps. I completely forgot to put highlight in my inner corner, so I just go ahead and use a powder for this and a tiny brush. And just do that. I don't go directly for the inner corner, I go to the side of it and just kind of drag it out right here. And sorry about the background noise. And when I don't use the putty blush, I use the All My Healthy Hue blush. This one is in the shade of So Peachy. I like to set it a little bit. Very simple. Okay, now we're almost done. The next thing that I do is curl my lashes so I can go ahead and put mascara on them. I use a cheap eyelash curler so it doesn't really like hold in place or I don't know if it's just my lashes, but it does the job for a while, but I forgot what brand this is. I turned the camera around for just a quick moment. I wanted the sun to kind of like hit me. I just put on mascara like how anyone would do. I usually like starting at the bottom and wiggling it out. That's the best method that works for me. I try to get each eyelash and try not to make it too clumpy. I usually like separating them. I let that dry and same goes for the other side. Now here's how it looks. I usually like doing two layers, but if you want to keep it more natural, obviously do one. But here's how it looks like with one layer. And then here's how it looks like with the second layer. Obviously it's not much of a big difference, but still enough to see a slight change. And I go back in with the Photo Focus Translucent Powder by Wet n Wild. Obviously tap it, tap, tap, and put in areas that I don't want it to be too dewy looking. I still keep some areas, but just the places that I know look greasy very slightly though and then finally we're moving on to my lips the final product i have been loving these three combinations lately especially for the winter because it's more like a fall winter type of look the first one that i use is the nyx matte lip liner in the color sandstorm i just outline my lips i usually follow my lip line this is how this one looks like in my skin color and i just outline kind of bring it up in the middle and then these then i go in with the same nyx lip liner but this one is in brown and then this one i go at the very very edge and only outline a little bit like so i don't try to overdo it but it also depends on the time of day like if i am going out the club or a date night and it's dark out i usually intensify this and like overline a little bit more but for the day, I like to keep it subtle. And then finally, I go in with this 
elf lip gloss and this one is in moody there's nothing to it i just like to make my lips glossy this here's a very natural looking type of makeup i'm also going to go ahead and do my eyeliner because i've been doing that recently but it's just more of like if i feel like it type so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you you can add into your routine or not but yeah okay sometimes i'm not feeling liner but when i do and it's the day i usually like doing brown eyeliner and i use this elf palette it's the cream and sugar one and i go in with the darkest and kind of just lightly just very very slightly but enough for it to be noticeable and show up and i like to blend it out a bit so i just go ahead and blend it upwards just so it can look a little bit more natural and then the same for the other eye i usually like starting at like the corner corner of the eye like following it and then just bringing it outwards as well then i just even it out until it looks right and um blend 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 that's all i gotta say okay so this is the brown eyeliner moment obviously not too drastic it's just to lift your eyes a little bit yes i'm using the sun as lighting so i'm sorry about the constant lighting change so i wanted to show my daily makeup routine in the three ways that i do it the first one was without eyeliner the second one is with brown eyeliner and then finally my last one is the more harsh night look so i use the nyx epic ink liner yeah in black this has been my best friend it's kind of old i need to get a new one but i really love this liner for the longest of time for my girlies i don't know how to do eyeliner starting with the brown eyeshadow and following that really works as well so that's why i did the brown eyeliner first i like to be super concentrated i start at my corner right here and just do a line Kind of following my crease line here like that creating kind of like a triangle so putting it downwards to the side here and kind of creating that shape i don't know if you can see that but then i like just filling it in and then slowly building up that shape You see how it kind of created a point at the top here and then obviously connected it there. I like to do that on both sides at first before actually connecting everything else. Same thing to the other side, start with the corner of your eye. And you don't want to close your eyes too much because that just creates more of a scandal. It just doesn't look right and when your eyes are closed, your eyes are kind of like scrunched and just no. And then after that, I just close my eye a little bit. And I kind of lift my eye by closing it, kind of like that. <laughs> kind of like you have something in your eye and you just wanted to do that. Just make a thin line. And you can either leave it like this, it looks completely fine, or connect, start building it up for it to connect to this line and just like drag it down. Okay, you see how I connected it here? Like I just went down and then there you have it. I just like to powder off everything. I don't know why, but I like putting extra blush because I'm a blush girl. We're done. Okay, I'm gonna go outside and just show you the full effect. It honestly always looks better in the sun. It's so bright, <laughs> but this is how it looks. Like once you're in the sun, it looks very, very natural. I kind of went off today, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> very natural, very dewy. Let's see how it, my hair looks down. I have not had it down in a while. Look at her! Me freaking squinting because it's so right. <laughs> but here's the completed makeup look. I'm super happy how it turned out. Way better than I thought because the lighting was on and off. But yeah, I've been doing this for a while, but I love having the sun behind me because it just hits me. It kind of like reflects the sunlight. I don't know if that makes sense, but this is how it looks. <laughs> a little quick selfie tip. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Bye!